I would not be defending him if I thought he actually believed in, you know, arguments in favor of child pornography. I would not be defending him for any of these things if this were true. I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to why possession of child pornography should be illegal. This whole situation has honestly ruined anime for me. Oh, dude, where do I begin? Where do I begin? The tipster cope, the Kefels cope, the insanity is all gone down the drain. It's almost like everybody on the internet was trying to tell him that Lolly was bad all of a sudden. Whoa, huge concept. Hey, Kefels tipster, guess what? Lolly is bad. Everybody made a million videos about this all on Twitter, all on YouTube, X kick. Uh, Twitch, whatever else people are using, Rumble, I'm pretty sure is out there. I'm pretty sure if you look hard enough, you'll find it on some weird, unforsaken AOL instant messenger room chats. They were even talking about it. Reddit was up there. 4chan probably got a kick out of this. Kiwi Farms even banded together against these two people who I didn't even see in like forever. They haven't been active. I've been talking about this. I, I can't even believe the massive L that has been handed to it. It's, it Vouch, it's, it's like Vouch was just overseen on this L. Vouch got caught red fucking handed. His hand was in the cookie jar. We all caught him, right? He did it himself. He turned the kitchen light on for everyone else to see his hand in the cookie jar. He did it himself. And Keffels and Tipster have just completely gone off the rails to defend their very friend. Controversial as it seemed, but guess what? This whole situation made Tipster not like anime anymore. What? That's crazy how I don't get bothered by those shows. Unless I was watching something that would either bother you. Anime shouldn't bother you, Tipster. It should not be ruined for you. Anime should not bother you. Whatever. Anyways, Keffel's just coping in chat. They're out here roasting him on stream. She goes, Nick, take him back, please. They want to take back Tipster. I guess the fandom or the friendship is over between Keffel's and Tipster. It's an obviously joke. She's obviously joking in chat, right? Pulling everybody's chains. But I'd like to think that they are actually soying it up here. They're soy boying it up here. They got caught with the tail between their legs, bro. They got caught helping Vouch get the cookie out of the jar. If you guys know what I'm talking about. And then on top of that, we got this clip here. The issue here is that like when you're talking about like hentai and anime and stuff like that, the art style is so ambiguous that sometimes you could be looking at a character that looks like an adult character and then you later find out it's not an adult character. So it's not always like easy to tell. If I could give you guys honest advice, so it's not always easy to tell. He says it's not always easy to tell. Bro, if you're having a hard time trying to discern if it was easy to tell, uh, right there is the first red flag. All right, probably shouldn't be looking at it in the first place, bro. There you go. That's your easy way to tell. You just, ah, whatever. That's fucking weird. Okay, move on. I'll never go back to that thing. I mean, it happens. It crops up on your timeline sometimes. Most of my stuff on Twitter is sports related anyway, so that shit shouldn't even be on there anyways. You know what I'm saying? But still a little too many times, you know what I'm saying? But I do follow some people in the uh, in the uh, community who, uh, what's her name? I forgot what her name is. She's the girl that got tipster in trouble the first time. Rum! Rum. So uh, I had to unfollow her, no cow. Sorry, Rum, but uh, you're, we're, you're fucking weird. When it comes to this kind of shit, if you're into adult content, stay the fuck away from hentai, okay? Because you might see something that looks perfectly fine, in hentai and then find out oh that's like a 16 year old girl well fuck that shit like just stay away from hentai if it, if i can give you guys honest to god advice stay away from that shit okay because you're just you're asking for fucking trouble at that point how like hold on boys guys listen if you are watching hentai you need to get the fuck outside go like actually like actually go outside all your problems literally stem from you being in this room way too much you're fat go hit the gym get offline and get out of this fucking echo chamber bubble that you've put yourself in bro all your problems literally stem from staying in that room for way too long and then having other people around you validate those weird creeping questions that should not be popping into your brain bro get the fuck outside oh my god bro oh my god stop watching the hentai bro i mean you could you could do whatever you want right you can look at whatever you want nobody gives a fuck bro i don't care what you do behind closed doors 
But when you start involving kids, bro, that's the issue I got. And then on top of that, you defended this Vouch guy. When you know for a fact it could have been hentai. Or, uh, excuse me, it could have been Lolly. You know for a fact it was, bro. And let's not even get started. Let's not even get started on your desktop background, bro. You fucking creep. Um, so, yeah, when it comes to, like, the stuff that uh, is on was on Vosh's computer, that's not okay. I'm not okay with that. I'm willing to give him the charitability of hearing him out and saying, hey, according to him, I didn't realize what it was, but apparently it is Lolly, and that's not okay. I'm willing to give him the charitability of assuming that maybe this was an accident, and I don't want to jump to the conclusion that he's a pedophile over that shit. That's essentially my position when it comes to the stuff on his computer. No, there's a five fucking step process to saving shit to your hard drive. Nonetheless, bro, he was about to save it to separate. It was to it was in a folder to be sorted. That was literally the title of the folder, tipster. You the cope is so fucking hard, bro. He goes, no, guys, Vouch isn't like this. Everybody says he literally is. Oh my god, you guys are attacking me. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt because I don't think he would have done this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's to be sorted. Inferring that there are already folders with that involved. You're fucking brain dead, bro. You have actual brain worms, tipster. Come on, bro. I used to love watching you. Now you're just a sad sack of shit. Holy shit. I'm going to play this clip again because it's funny. This whole situation has honestly ruined anime for me. Anyways, we got loser Kefels here. Out here just sewing it up on the timeline, trying to pick up a fight with Mudahar. Mudahar's uh, like, there's no way you're getting rid of him. He's a titan. Yep, yep. Sorry. Got sidetracked. Uh, I don't know where I left off, but I'll let you guys know to have a wonderful fucking day or night, whatever is going on right now, guys. I love you. Be good. Be kind. Be safe to each other. I'll see you all in the next one. Guys, don't watch hentai because you never know if it might be Lolly. <laughs> it's an obvious joke. You could obviously tell. A side note, don't even watch that stuff, bro. Go to the gym, go work out, go be productive, and then, you know, release that nut at the end of the week, bro. It'll be the best thing you ever did, all right? Those serotonin levels will be up for sure by Friday. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll see you all next one. Subscribe if you're new, and I'm out of here. All right. The other thing I want to do really quickly uh, before I wrap up this segment is I do want to apologize to some of my friends who I care a lot about. Uh, one of those friends being Keffels. Uh, when I tweeted the tweet with my criticism of H3, I did try to tweet it in a way that it wasn't aggressive uh, or I wasn't trying to be like crazy argumentative or whatever. I wanted to state my criticism, but I didn't want to be a dick about it. Okay. I tweeted that tweet, I went to bed, and I woke up to utter fucking chaos because Ethan saw my tweet, Ethan didn't like my tweet, and Ethan responded to my tweet. As a result of that, I was getting a barrage of fucking hate. People were very fucking mad, and several of my friends came to my defense as a result of that. One of those people being Keffels. And because of that, they got so much shit. And I just want to take a moment to apologize to my friends for that. When I posted that tweet, I did not mean for that to happen. And I am genuinely sorry that you guys got harassed and attacked because of my actions. I learned from this experience that I need to, before I do things, I need to better reflect on how my actions affect other people around me. And, um, I'm sorry that happened. None of you guys deserve to be attacked in that way. And uh, I take full accountability for that. Um, the other thing is this whole experience has honestly ruined anime for me in general. I said it before, like hentai was never my thing. But if you're into hentai, honestly, just stay the fuck away from that shit. Because holy fuck, like you could look at something that looks perfectly fine and then later find out it's lolly. And then you could find yourself in a situation like this. So this whole situation has honestly ruined anime for me so fucking much that I, I never want to watch anime again. I don't want anything to do with anime. I got my waist bin here and I got some of my anime. We got Death Note, one of my favorites. Fuck it, throw it in the bin. We got some Dragon Ball Z, another great anime show. Throw it in the fucking bin. Robotech, 
seems pretty harmless but who knows maybe there's some lolly in there throw it in the fucking bin ease based on one of my favorite rpg franchises in the fucking bin hell i've got video games that are anime inspired those go in the bin too uh ease the video game gone the final fantasy games there's probably some lolly in there somewhere get rid of them uh oh final fantasy 7 remakes gotta go uh catherine pretty sure there might be something sussy in there let's get rid of it and just for good measure, Ethan calls people he views as lollicons, he calls them lollipops. So we'll get rid of lollipop chainsaw just to be on the fucking safe side. I'm so sick of anime at this point. I want nothing to fucking do with it. No more anime in my house. I'm sorry, babe. I know you're in the other room. I know you still like Pokemon and shit like that. No more. No mas. It's Jover. No more anime in this house. Fuck that shit.